It's important to continue to learn about moments in our in our history in order to to continue the conversation to to have progress and move forward. So I, that's something that I hope everybody takes away from this film. First of all, congratulations on my policeman. I love this movie, and you both were fantastic. Um. So it's clear that much of this story revolves around Tom and Patrick's relationship and society's unwillingness to accept queer love. Um, first off, Emma, I'm curious about how you viewed Marion's role in this film, given the oppression that women also faced in the 1950s. Yeah, I think Marion's very complex because um, I think she's very determined and very strong. I think she wants to break out of, as you say, the confines of that society and what they did, that dictated for women at the time. But um I think that she's also incredibly ignorant as to the restrictions that many people faced who were queer at the time and couldn't express themselves or be authentic to who they were. And so that sort of conflict you really see um, at the heart of her experience. Yeah. And Patrick initially expresses his disdain for policemen. So, David, what makes Tom different and in turn makes Patrick fall in love with him? I mean, how can you explain love really how can you explain that connection between two people that's kind of instant um he sees a great beauty in him an innocence a wide-eyed innocence i don't know how can you explain love i don't know exactly um now the relationship between these two characters is rather complicated given that they're each in love with tom um how would you both describe the way your character views the other and how that changes over time I think it's one of the like more complex relationships in the film, which I really loved, is actually Marion and Patrick have their own friendship that stands alone. And it's one that is actually really powerful and they get on incredibly well and I think there is so much chemistry there and a genuine like love for each other, which I think makes it all the more heartbreaking for Marion and hurtful when she learns of his betrayal. It must, yeah, I think it was incredibly complex for her to try and process that. Yeah, for, for me too. <clears throat> I think what makes the relationship incredibly difficult is that Patrick grows increasingly more fond of Marion and gains an admiration and respect for a young woman who has her own ambitions and is hungry to learn more about life. So he he admires her more as the story continues, which makes the secrets they all keep from each other um, even harder. As you both are members of the LGBTQ community, what do you think is the importance of telling queer love stories like this? One, and that may not entirely be happy, but are very real and rooted in history. I mean, I hope that it um, inspires conversations amongst people who've seen it about, you know, how recent this was, you know, that these laws existed and that people were so restricted in the freedom to be who they are. But also, I think that. Queer love stories on screen means that people can see themselves reflected there. And there's a lot of power in that and a lot of comfort for people. It's important to continue to learn about moments in our in our history in order to, to continue the conversation to, to have progress and move forward. So I, that's something that I hope everybody takes away from this film. Finally, um, I love the chemistry between the two of you and Harry. Um, do you have any maybe like funny stories or just interesting things from your time together on set funny stories i didn't have any funny stories like it was all really fun um we had a lot of yeah we had a lot of fun it was a very joyous set everyone cast and crew was so wonderful um we obviously spent a lot of time together which means that you will become very close which is really nice yeah and we were shooting in brighton which was fun so we hung out on weekends and played mini golf and all kinds of things yeah it was fun